Hey everyone. Right, basics. I am trying to keep these simple and only using two or three, possibly four, different elements in them. Um, tags. Now I've got some acrylic uh, ink. It's basically highly pigmented. It's watered down acrylic paint but without losing um, the pigment. So I've got some in, what's this one? It is dark green. And then I've got normal flato blue acrylic and pale gold and texture paste. I love texture paste. It has to be done. Now I've also going to stamp a background to begin with. So I've got this one, type, typography. And I was searching through and I've got yet another one I've never used. So let's put him on there. So it is the text. So alphabet basically. I am, oops. I'm using the, um, oh, what's it called? The solvent ink, so the waterproof ink. I have no idea how well this one will stamp. I have to say, some of these Tim Holtz ones stamp lovely, and some of them are a pain in the backside. I have a scrap piece of card, except it's not very flat because I got it wet yesterday. And I am just going to, actually I'm going to put it up the right way. So I'm thinking I'm going to start about there. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, that works. I take it back. And then I'm going to go over and about there so I have a background and then this one stump up again or ink up again sorry and this one let's be a devil and put it on actually well, I think I'm just going to do it the once uh, we'll do it there no, I'm not. I don't. That looks boring. So let's put some up there as well. Okay, we have our backgrounds. And then I'm try I was trying to think of how to do this. So I've got two stencils that I really love. So I love that Harlequin one. And this is a, a cheap and cheerful, was part of a set from Amazon, the honeycomb one, which I really like. Texture paste. I make my own because I was getting through so much of it, it was beyond a joke. I put a, I have got a video explaining, it's very simple. Um, although mine's drying out a bit and could probably do with a bit of water. But I'll, uh, I'll put a link to the the video below. So I want it to go sort of across I think would be good. I would like it to reach the bottom if I can spread it out far enough. Okay, that's the first one. Let's just get that off. The one thing to say about stencils and texture paste is you must clean your stencils off. Otherwise um, it will dry and it won't be any good for anything. So I'm trying to get it so I can reach the top <coughs> and get to the bottom. So, 
shop bought stuff will be a lot softer than this. Like I say, it's because I've um, mine's dried out somewhat. Right, we have the beginnings of two tanks. Right, I'm going to go and dry these, wash my stencils off, and then I will be right back. Right, these are all now dried off. Now, my intention was to put paint to make splashes of paint, perhaps, rather than... I love that colour blue. Rather than... Um, trying to draw something it may it may not work what I'm gonna do is really sort of water down my paint well at least try to anyway that's it I've got it all stuck to the top of the brush and then try and I have seen a few people do this now, and Marta, I think, is the one um, fantastic, <laughs> fantastic mixed media. So this is my my attempt. I it. I think I'm going to need it wetter than that. Okay, so I'm trying. So I want to put it. No, right, mine isn't really isn't watery enough. What I want, I want to, I don't want big thick lines. I was trying to get, I suppose really this is perhaps more abstract than, so I don't want that bit up there. So let's try. Oh, that's better. Let's soften the edges like we do with um, with the inks. Except I'm using a tissue as my blending tool. <laughs> okay, that's gone a bit more than I wanted it to, but okay. Right, if we're going to. I am going to make a pattern straight across. I do like the way it gathers in there. Okay, let's, for the sake of balance. Let's try a bit thicker paint. See if we can just get it to run down. Okay, <clears throat> now if there are bits which are too dark, I can think it maybe there. I like the rest. Right, I'm going to leave that like that for a moment. I know you're probably thinking, whoa. I'm going to leave that. And then I'm going to, I've got this acrylic ink. If I can undo it. Now I'm wondering if I should wet this slightly, but that's. I even got it's possible it's got a dropper on it so let's see if we can 
Ooh, look at that green. I'm liking that. I suppose really it depends on if you perhaps this may be a bit too much for you. I was desperately trying to keep the white bits. It's worked on some and not on others. Okay. So if I give that a, a shake. I quite like that. I love that green. I wonder what would happen. If I could have <laughs> my paintbrush has now got blue water all over it, but if perhaps we lighten the edges a bit. And just Softens it up a lot, doesn't it? The beauty of it is, is because that um, ink is waterproof. It it doesn't run. It just stays where you put it. Which. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for my um for my cardboard for my card stuff. Oh, you could sit and play for hours with this. Oh, okay. I could sit and play with flowers with this. Let's take that off slowly. Okay. So watercolour on cardboard. In a desperate bid to try and keep the back of uh, of them clean, I'm just wiping my dust down. Right, I'm I am going to dry these, and so I'll mute this and I'll see you in a moment. Right, those are sort of dry. That writing, I th well, I don't know actually. I was thinking it's a bit pronounced, but maybe it's not. Okay, and then I have the th a bit more. This is pale gold. I'm just gonna put a bit up there. And then, did you know you can stamp with cardboard? I've used this to, as you can see, to make lines, you know, um, written lines. So I am. Because I've run out of space on my, I move those over. Because I've run out of space on my um, bit of wax paper here. Oh, I don't want green. Ah. Okay, let's get that out. Or maybe not. Right. Let's turn it around this way so I can actually see. 
So we have some gold as a contrast. Let's put some on this one. Oh, I like that. That works really well. Let's put some just coming down. And then maybe that works for me. And what are we going to do with this? Maybe some up there. I'm thinking also, actually, right, let's go in with me. This, this is all made up, as you can probably tell by now. So let's go in and just add. I'm running out of space. Let's make some space. There we go. Green is getting a bit dark. So it's just ooh, too much. Wipe some off on there. I think really all I'm doing is using this as um a bit of gilding. <laughs> like gilding wax and I have to say I'd never thought of using acrylic paint for it before well that works wonderfully let's get the last of it off my fingers That's the side I'm not sure about, but I'm sure I can sort something out in a moment for that one. I don't know if you can see the gold highlights on it now. Let's try a bit. I'm going to move that because I can just see me put my arm in it. So... enough for that one. Um, that's still a bit dark. That's better. Okay, that's lightened that up. Perhaps not the usual thing that you might have been expecting from me. It is what it is. I I do like this kind of thing. Um, that that writing is much too dark. And so 
a bit of texture paper, not texture paper, gesso. I'm just going to, if I can get some water on my fingers. Finger painting for adults, that's what this is. Not quite going dark, light enough. That's better. Okay. I can always go back over with the gold after if I wanted to. Okay, I like that. That's much better. <laughs> I'm covered in inks and paints and all sorts. Okay. Right. Let's scrap that last little bit off. Words. I've got these tiny ones, but I don't think they're going to stand there. Let's go for white because those are both looking a bit dark at the moment. Um, sorry, just reaching over to grab some dimensions because I think these We need dimension. So I can never make I can never make <laughs> sayings up out of these. Remember, remember what? Uh, actually, yes, I can. So, remember yourself. I am I'm gonna get around the edges of these. Let's have that one about there. How much time we got on the camera? Remember yourself. Right, let's go around this one, finish it off proper. I don't know if black might have been better contrast for this one. But... Ooh, that has warped where I just re wet it. Well, you can lie flat if need be. I think what I might do is put them on the on the backing card. Oh, the once I've actually managed to keep them.
So we have simple wishes. Oh, everything's sticky today from paint to the Words. Oh, I think they're probably better off down there. So, ooh. Sometimes it is about simple wishes, just doing what makes you happy. So there we have two, although that one. That one really doesn't want to dry flat. But there we go. Two, I think, very, not very simple, but they do take some thought because I couldn't get that right, etc., etc. But two tags just using the basic supplies. All right. You take care now, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.